Ignore national protests over hardship at your own peril. APC chieftain wants to know. <laughs> I tell you, now that things are falling apart, even in APC, I tell you, because the way things are going, it was hard in very time, but Tinubu has, you know, mulled out and pulled out the last straw that, that has broken or will break the camel's back. The hardship and the penury right now is just out of control. Uh, national protest is on the line as uh, some protests have started in some in some states like Ogu State, Niger State, and uh, Kano State, I think part of Kaduna also. And so the protest gradually is going to spread all over the country. National protests on the way. Uh, national Association of Nigerian Students have given federal government uh, uh, 14 days of tomato, and that is counting already. But I don't think things will wait for that 14 days. Though. The way things are going, there's going to be a very serious protest in the, in the very, very close time. But again, let's dive into the details to see this APC chief team that is talking. Ignore national protest over hardship at your own peril. APC chief team wants to know. Former National Vice Chairman, Northwest of the Ruling of Progressive Congress, APC, Salihu Mohamed Lukman, has asked President Bola Tinubu um, to ignore the mass protest over high cost of living at his own peril. So in a statement on Wednesday in Abuja, Lukman, a former Director General of the Progressive Governors Forum, PGF, warned that if the issues were not addressed, mass protests would engulf the entire country in no distant time. Exactly. So he said, as it is now, the renewed hope agenda of our party have been floated, like the Naira exchange rate. Renewed hope is being exchanged for renewed anger. The value is becoming more and more provocative, provocative to Nigerians, to citizens. So if the truth must be told, there is hunger in the land. As a commit, uh, committed member of APC, it is very depressing that this is happening under the leadership of our party. Even more depressing was the statement issued by Mr. Felix Moka, our National Public Secretary, alleging that the opposition parties are behind the protest. Hmm. For Mr. Moka to issue such a very dishonest statement points to only one thing, that the leadership of her party has completely lost it and at this rate, their political utility value is zero. <laughs> this clearly suggests that even the old pretense about being progressive has been thrown to the dogs. How can we be talking of opposition sponsoring protests in the strongholds of the APC? Both MENA and Kano are strongholds of APC. So in the case of MENA, Niger State, APC is the ruling party. Kano is the home state of Dr. Abdullahi Umar Ganduje, the APC national chairman. So to suggest that any opposition party could mobilize citizens to protest um, our government uh, against our government is deadly, is already defeatist. <laughs> so the hard reality is that these protests are logical responses to the realities facing Nigerians. So if these realities continue unattended to, these protests will spread like bushfire across every part of the country within a very short period. No one should be deceived. These are justifiable protests which test the responsiveness of our party, our leaders, and above all, our democracy. APC and President Shivaji Bola Metumbu may wish to ignore them at their own peril. <laughs> wow. So this is exactly what uh, uh, Mohamed Lukman, the North, former Northwest APC chairman and former director of uh, Progressive Governors Forum is saying. And that is the truth. Ignore national protest at your own peril. That is the truth. The way it is, just for this Moka saying that, uh, or uh, by Anonoga saying that uh, the protest was instigated, or organized, and planned by the opposition party is just very, very disheartening. And then for uh, uh, by Anonoga to come out to tell Nigerians that uh, Nigeria is. Uh, the country with the lowest cost of living in Africa is also another slap on the face of Nigerians. How can you say that? Okay, so with all of these, and while they're doing the economic uh, or finance minister also coming out to say his own, I don't understand where Nigeria is going. So the way it is now, anger is in the land. 
you can imagine women in Ogun state saying they will beat Tinubu if they have access to him or anywhere they see him. You can imagine that. That is very, very derogatory and that is very, very bad coming from the lowest class of Nigerian citizens to a president who thinks he is in charge. So the way it is now, ignore national protest at your own peril. The national protest is already building up and the day is going to spread. It's going to come out like from the, all the remaining 33 states or 34 states at the same time simultaneously. I don't see what DSS and uh, 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 the, the, the defense headquarters or the police will do about it when it starts. It's going to be very bad and going to be very difficult. I must tell you the truth. Okay, so there are some uh, comments here. Um, some will be definitely be for and some will be against the statement of uh, Lukman. Okay, somebody saying here, I knew he will fail when he quickly removed for subsidy uh, without reasoning. People said he doesn't have senses and he has proven it. What a shame. <laughs> Another person they should include rice, beans, eggs, vegetable oil, yam, gari, plantain, chicken, meat generally, gas, and every essentials. What a devastating situation! It don't read for everyone. Revolution is coming, and there now, the revolution is coming. The revolution is coming, it's already building up. I say, yes, that is a fact. To ignore the protesters and keep speculating about their likely organizers is like going to sleep while a snake is on your roof. Of course, of course, while you're sleeping, the snake will come down and meet you on your bed. And that's exactly what is going to happen. What goes around comes around. When Tinubu led the protesters of 2012 against GEJ and PDP, less did Tinubu know then that the law of karma, okay, was hanging to descend upon him too when he comes to power. When Tinubu led the protest then, uh, GEJ's government was far better than what we have today. Yet, they deceitfully led Nigerians in protest against GEJ. Then, the Milokan, okay, it is now your turn. Bear, what, bear with it. Eh? It shall long care by you, can you imagine? It is time for reaping what you sowed some 12 years ago. <laughs> now, wow, they're already telling him, well, these are people from the Southwest. And uh, somebody said, for the first time in the history of Nigerian politics, a party member could speak the truth that his party had failed. So, posterity will remember today in your life. It's not left for those involved to do something. If only they have anything in mind, I propose they resign from office. So, some sensible people still the PCO, evil party. <laughs> oh, guy, you spoke well. Tinubu built Lagos. Uh, let give him chance to build Nigeria. Okay, no Allah now. We don't give him the chance. Let's see what will happen. And uh, somebody said, please stop saying rubbish. <laughs> I have thought that all APC members are criminals without conscience. But it seems this man is a bit different. Have you? People are clapping hand for him. Oh. So APC have someone who can say the truth like this man. Don't mind your party members. Let them continue telling lies, hunger and insecurity everywhere. An old man like them is pointing hands to opposition party or being behind protests. Shameless old fools. They are giving them more. They are giving them seriously. As I would say, Mr. Lukman has just hit the nail in the head. He has spoken the truth. How can opposition party sponsor protests in APC stronghold? Mr. Moka is a sabotaging, is, is sabotaging APC. He is misleading Tinubu. Hmm. Oh, wow, this is the beginning of what will happen soonest in this country. APC is ruling. Hong cannot send anybody, Papa. Now, so now you go come and you go take what you want to take. Okay, so thank you for listening. Let's have a comment at the statement coming from uh, Sally, Sally Hu Lukman, the former Northwest APC chairman and former director general of Progressive Governors Forum. So, let's have your take on this as well.